Well, this is an all-round performance by Bharti Airtel. It's a comprehensive beat on revenues, especially on margins and even on profitability. Consolidated revenues have gone up by 3.7% uh, on a year-on-year -year basis. It's a growth of over 10%, the best that we've seen in the last seven quarters for the consolidated revenues. Margins have improved by 160 basis points, Q or Q, to come in at 36.8%. And this is led both by India, where margins have gone up by 100 basis points, as well as Africa, where the margins have improved by 55 basis points. Basis points. And that is driving a beat at the profitability level as well. So profits have gone up by nearly 15%. The India wireless metrics are looking good. So the revenue growth stands at 4.8%. There is a margin improvement of 100 basis points. But the biggest kicker is the voice volume growth. And that is coming at 6% QOQ and over 10% on year on year basis. And this is the best that we've seen in the last 18 quarters. And that is the key highlight. Minutes of usage have gone up by 2.5% quarter on quarter. Pricing pressure sustained, so voice revenue per minute has declined for seven straight quarters, but the volumes are more than made up for the decline in the pricing. With respect to data, data volume growth is maintained. It's not picked up despite the company's aggressive 4G launches. So that's a bit of a disappointment, but data volume growth stands at nearly 70% on a year on year basis. Africa performance, revenue is largely in line with expectations. There is a margin beat, and that is coming for the second straight quarter. But the company has also announced a buyback of 1,434 crore uh, at a price of 400 rupees per share. So that's a 7.5% premium to where the stock closed yesterday. Plus, they've announced a dividend of 1 rupees 36 paise, which means the total outgo from the company stands at nearly 2,000 crore rupees, slightly more than the 1830 crore that they paid out last year. So there is an increase in the amount the company is paying out to the shareholders, and that is a key positive. But the question is, the stock is already up 30% from its uh, 50 two week lows. It's already rallied three and a half percent on the day of the earnings. So I guess part of the good news is priced in, but these are very strong numbers and we expect the stock to do well.